Hi guys, this is Nicole once again from Bouquets by Nicole. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a brooch bridal bouquet using the flat satin roses. This size is approximately 2.4 inches and this one is a one inch. Um, we'll also be using our styrofoam ball. This is an eight inch styrofoam ball because this bouquet is going to be 10 inches wide. And we're also going to use the PVC pipe for our holder. You'll also need your brooches, your skinny ribbon to wrap your holder. You'll also need a two inch um, satin ribbon for your leaves. The leaves will be used to cover the bottom of the bouquet. And I have tons of brooches here. And you'll also need wire cutters just to remove the pin off the brooch. And what else you'll need? You'll need your hot glue gun, your glue sticks, a pair of scissors, and I think that's it. So we're ready to go. Now, the first thing you want to do is glue your holder to your styrofoam ball. Let that dry. I already have one here. This is just for demo purposes. Um, this is a six inch um, styrofoam ball I have here that I just cut in half and then I just put the holder in there. Now, you want to put your ribbon around the base so that to cover up the styrofoam at the bottom. And then you just want to start gluing your roses onto, oh, the breeze is blowing my supplies away. You just want to glue your flowers onto the styrofoam ball like that. And then you just want to go around and put another one on. You just want to continue going around, covering the ball. And then I just put like the small ones in between just to get like, you know, to have different roses in the bouquet. So that's how you just cover up your styrofoam ball with your roses. Now, all of the supplies I showed here, this is a kit that we have available on our website, Bouquets by Nicole. This is the 10 inch bridal bouquet, brooch bouquet kit. You have the kit includes the styrofoam ball, the brooches, the roses. Um, ribbon for your leaves um, about three yards two to three yards of the two inch satin ribbon for your leaves to make your leaves and it also includes the skinny ribbon to wrap your holder the only thing it does not include would be the PVC pipe I don't sell the PVC pipe so you would you can go to any hardware store or you can use anything that you know that can be used as a holder you can just glue it onto the styrofoam ball doesn't have to be a PVC pipe this is just what I use I I like using it so and I make tons of bouquets so I just go to the hardware store and I get a really long piece of PVC pipe and I just cut them so that I can use them for my bouquets so yes this is the um, 10 inch bridal bouquet brooch bridal bouquet kit that's available on sale. You can purchase everything you need in one order to create your um, your bouquet. Okay, so let's get started again. All right, I already have my ball covered and I started placing some of the brooches on the roses already. Now you'll notice I left a few gaps within the brooches. This bouquet is not going to be fully covered with brooches. It's going to have some of the roses showing through. Um, I think that's going to be really nice like that. So I didn't, you know, I'm not going to cover this bouquet totally. So I already have some of my brooches already declawed. <laughs> I took the pins off already. So I'll just continue gluing um, the brooches on here, leaving my gaps, my little roses peeking through. So I'll just put this one right here. I know I left out some of the steps. Well, really not. I didn't really leave out any steps because the only thing I did was I just, you know, put the flowers on and glued the holder in. So you didn't really miss anything. I just didn't want it to be a long video. So I'm just going to, you know, put the brooches on the bouquet. 
just going around. You can just put them anywhere. Ouch. That's hot. Since this isn't a fully covered bouquet. This is, I love this. I actually got this idea from a bride um, to not cover it fully. And I'm really liking it. It's a good idea. Something different, you know. And I thought it will be good to come on YouTube to show you guys this. Because I don't think I've ever shown you a video using the flat roses before. The flat roses are really nice. I always use the round ones. So this one is with the flat roses. Okay, so you just continue just gluing your brooches on the bouquet like so. And even if you don't want to purchase the kit, we have the brooches um, on sale individually. You can select your you know, whichever brooches you would like to use for your bouquet. And there's really no rhyme or reasons to this, really. I just want to leave a few flowers out. And, oh, sorry about that. My brooch dropped. Okay. I'll just use a different one. Use this one. Right in there. It's really not complicated. It's really just going with, you know, whatever you feel. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Just glue your brooches on. Okay. Just gonna, this is going to be a real quick video. Just glue this one here like that. This bouquet is going all the way to Ghana. Ghana, Africa. Yes. Bouquets by Nicole is represented in Ghana. I also put this one here. Mm. What do you think? This little crown. That's cute. Okay. Put that there. And put this here. Yeah, not. I have to get a bigger brooch to go there. Put this one here. Okay, I'm going to use this brooch. Isn't this pretty? I like this one. Okay, and the reason why you need the wire cutters is to cut this off so that your brooch will lie flat on the flowers. So just glue this. I'm just going to put this here. Like that. Okay, I'll put that there. And then I'm just gonna fill in some of these gaps. Now the kit for the 10 inch comes with 10 brooches. You can get silver or gold. And we also have the smaller bouquet, like for your bridesmaids, for the um, 7 to 8 inch bouquet. We also have a kit for those. And I believe that one includes about 8 brooches. So you get the flowers, the brooches, the ribbon, the styrofoam ball, all in one kit. And I'm telling you, they are so popular. People are loving those. I'm going to move this crown. I'm not feeling that right there. I'm going to take this crown off. We're going to declaw this brooch. And we're going to put the... Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! We're going to put this one right here. And I don't use wires, as I mentioned in my other videos. I just glue these bad boys 
on here, glue these brooches on here, and believe me, they're not coming off. They are, they are secured with the hot glue, so you don't have to worry about that. And then I have this hanging brooch in the front. Isn't that pretty? That's going to be the front of the bouquet. All right, so now I'm just going to fill in a few more of the gaps. Like right here, I'll probably put a brooch here. Right there. And this is just about done. Now this bouquet, um, the 10 inch half covered bouquet, this one is on sale for $229, $229. Ooh, it's a nice weight. I'm glad. It's a nice weight. Okay. So maybe the crown can go here. Yeah, we'll put the crown there. Because the bride is the queen of the day. Put a little crown right there. And, well, this is beautiful. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a few embellishments just to cover up some of my gaps. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to use some of these. It's just teardrops trimmed with rhinestones. I'm going to just fill in some gaps with these. Like that. I'll put one right here. No, maybe I'll use a smaller rhinestone there. Right here. Bling this out. Bling, bling, bling. So I can probably use a big one right here. Like that. And put another one right there. So this is basically, this is almost a fully in fully encrusted brooch bouquet. Hmm. It's a nice weight. Uh, should have charged more for this. No, nah, I think it's a good price. $229 is a good price. I know a lot of people tell me that my bouquets, my brooch bouquets are really um, inexpensive compared to the other ones online. But you know what? I try to keep them reasonable. I take into consideration, you know, of course, the supplies and the time that I have to spend to create them. But I try not to get crazy with my pricing. I try to be fair. But some people charge, I mean, hundreds of dollars. Like $5.99, $6.99, really? Really? I know some of the techniques do take, you know, hours, but come on now. Let's be reasonable. $700 for a brooch bridal bouquet? I think that's ridiculous. I think the highest um, bouquet I have on my website is maybe $4.99 or $3.99. And they're really large bouquets with hunt not hundreds, I'm lying. Not hundreds with a lot of brooches. A whole lot of brooches. So, and it's usually like the cascading ones. Because that's a little bit, ooh, I didn't want to put that there, but whatever. You know, that takes a little bit more, a lot of technique to create the cascade effect. So, that's why... You know the price is that high it's really time consuming and i'm using tons of brooches you know so i don't have too many of those on there because really my purpose is to supply brides with brooch bouquets that are just as beautiful but at an affordable price I, you know i'm all about saving money 
they call me cheap but i don't care i like to save money i, I don't, this is just as beautiful and it doesn't have to cost almost a thousand dollars that's ridiculous okay so we're done with the brooches we're done with the decoration and this is i love it i need to add some more glue in here the flowers doing something crazy right there okay now see isn't that pretty so the next thing you want to do your leaves okay i already have some made up but I have some ribbon here. I want to show you guys who haven't seen my other videos how to make them. I just took a piece of ribbon. This is about, what, seven inches. And you just take the ribbon, put a little bit of glue, fold it over like so. And then I just cut a V at the bottom just to get rid of some of the bulk in the ribbon. So I just make a V so when it wraps around the holder, it's not as bulky. And then you want to take your leaf, your leaves, and just glue them onto the base of the holder, and that's going to cover up the bottom so that the styrofoam is not visible. You just want to put a little bit of glue there and kind of hard doing it in front of the camera okay then you just want to glue it down like that and then you go around some people get real fancy with them and they twirl them around like that I don't because that takes too much time and I just make sure they're even you just glue them onto the base like that okay so, oh, it's hard doing it. I just hold it at the top so it won't slide down. The wrinkles are going to come out, so don't worry about that. And I really see the little mistakes that we all make with the glue. So, this is just about done and then i'm going to wrap the holder and this will be ready to ship to ghana africa we also ship to the caribbean and Worldwide, basically, I shipped, had a shipment go to Australia last week. So it's not just the U.S. So if you're living in other countries and you're interested in making a purchase from the website, please feel free to do so. Okay. So the leaves are on, right? So next thing you want to do, but I usually just go around and make sure... Everything is ouch flat down. Some glue in there. Just going around making sure everything is glued down. Okay. So you want to take the skinny ribbon. Well, first of all, you want to take a piece of the two inch ribbon and you want to make a circular cut to go at the bottom of your holder so I usually just fold it over and just make somewhat of a circle it doesn't have to be a perfect circle and it's just going to the bottom here like that you want to cover this bottom okay now the bottom I had I put a piece of um, cardboard at the bottom cut it out in a circle and just trimmed it on there so that's covered okay then you want to take your skinny ribbon and you want to go around the holder now this one we're going to um make a french knot on this holder so i'll show you guys how to do that i don't think i've done one of those in a video before so 
it will be something new so you just want to wrap your hold with your skinny ribbon you can use this I think it's like half an inch I've been using the half inch because if you do say the two inch or you know a wide piece of ribbon to trim your this is too long to trim your holder it's going to be bulky with the skinny ribbon you can really work with it and get all of your wrinkles out you don't have too many um, wrinkles when you use the smaller ribbon so that's why I use the skinny ribbon I know it'll be faster if you did use a wider ribbon but it will be messier see this is so neat with just the um, skinny ribbon now I don't have to be neat with this because like I said I'm gonna make a French braid on this but you know if you weren't doing the French braid this is how you would do it I'm just I'm gonna do it neatly so you can see it because you might not want to do hey my light just fell you might not want to do the um, French braid just stay there <sighs> Get it together, Nicole. And just keep going around until this is covered. Let's give it a little twirl. Okay. So that's that. Now, the French knot. The French braid. Whatever. Knot, braid. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, take your skinny ribbon. You wrap it around the base, and I have it on the wrong side. Okay. And then I usually just take a stick pen, and I just pin it in the back to hold it in place while I'm braiding. So just stick a pin in there. You're gonna take that out, so don't worry about that. And I want it, you want it in the front. Now see, that's I have my hanging brooch in the front, so that's how I know this is the front of my bouquet. And what you wanna do is take the ribbon, twist it once, twist it again. So twist it twice. You can twist it once, but I usually just do it twice to make sure I get that knot in there like that and then you just wrap it around the back again come back around the front okay and then make a hold make sure it's tight and do another twist I think I'll just use one twist yeah one's good yeah one's good you see how it's knotting right in there it's gonna be really pretty and make sure your ribbon, I'm using single face satin, so you want to make sure that I'm going to twist it again. I'm twisting this twice. Make sure your the sheen, the um, shiny part of your satin ribbon is visible and not the matte side of it. You want to go around the back, twist it in the back. Make sure it's flat and neat in the back. And then you want to come back around, twist it. Twist it once, and twist it again. Okay, so it's two twists. Make sure it's lined up, because you want them to be straight. You want them in one row, a straight row. So, come back around. Come up. Twist it. Twist, twist, twist. Let's twist again like we did last summer. We'll twist it in the back, come back through. This is really pretty. And then twist, twist, twist. Okay? Twist. A single face satin ribbon, so make sure you pay attention to. Oh, that was three. 
make sure you pay attention to the side of the ribbon that's visible to the front okay and then I'm gonna make one more knot okay like that and then for the back I usually just make a knot in the back just a regular old knot like you're tying your shoe make a knot in the back to stop the ribbon from unraveling all right I'm gonna double knot it okay look isn't that pretty move your pen because you don't need that pen the pen was just holding it in place for you Maybe I'll let it hang down no I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna cut this but let me tighten this some more <clears throat> okay and then I'm gonna cut this I know that's fraying I'm gonna clean that up don't worry about that like that. Now the trick what I do is I put some glue on here so this bad boy won't unravel on me. Okay. So I glue that. That's not gonna move. Okay, now I have some fraying going on here. Where's my lighter? Well, I usually just take my lighter and burn it so to get rid of the frays. Okay, like that. Now, what I usually do is, sometimes when I make the knots, I'll put like some pearls on the knots, but she does, she's going to have rhinestone trim at the bottom. So, you know, you can put, decorate the knots with some embellishments, or like she's going to do, she just wants a rhinestone trim at the bottom. I'm just going to trim this with rhinestones. Just a little bit of glue. Told you guys this would be quick. I'm done. too long okay. I usually use this just to get rid of any flyaways at the bottom oh this is not <laughs> beautiful isn't that nice I'm done so this is an ivory semi semi filled brooch bouquet with flat satin roses and that's it we're done thank you guys for watching and i'll see you again next time bye bye have a good one